Hello, welcome to the uh, live designing uh, InDesign tutorials. This tutorial is on importing paragraph and character styles. Uh, first, we have an InDesign document open. Um, styles are saved in the paragraph and character styles panels. You'll note here that I have a couple of styles under paragraphs and none under character styles. They can also be saved in object styles and table and cell styles. Those are different kinds of uh, styles. In InDesign, styles are used for formatting text and other objects uh, across a document so that many different objects or different stories, text, can be formatted the same way uh, reliably and consistently. For a complex project involving many different files, I recommend that first you create the paragraph and character styles that will be needed in a uh, template or master document. This could be an INDT template file, uh, or it could just be an INDD InDesign document file that you're using as a place to hold the uh, styles that you're going to use. Once the styles are set up in the master document, they can be imported into all the project documents to ensure that formatting in all those documents uh, is identical. When you use format italic, it will always be the same italic settings, for example. Uh, note that there's a tutorial on creating paragraph styles, and if you need some help setting them up, you can also uh, go to InDesign under the Help tab in InDesign, go to Help and InDesign Help or InDesign Support Center to uh, get information, more information about uh, many, many topics in InDesign such as setting up paragraph styles or character styles. Uh, first we need to have a file open that we're going to, that supposedly will be part of our project, uh, and then we want to uh, show you how to import the styles. So I have this document open, and I have the Paragraph Styles panel open. I can do that under Type, Paragraph Styles, or under Window, Styles, Paragraph Styles. In this case, since I have it open, I don't need to open it again. If I, Each panel has a menu in the top left-hand corner with a lot of commands that are available for that particular panel. Here we pull down the Paragraph Style menu and choose Load All Text Styles. This opens up a file browser where we go to locate the file where we have saved the, uh, st the styles we want to import for this project. And Where's my file? Here it is, Gradients and Styles. And we click Open, and we get a list of all the styles, the text styles in the document. In this case, I will simply leave all of them checked. If there were some I didn't want in this particular document, I could uncheck them and click OK. And now you see I have many more styles listed under the Paragraph Styles. And under Character Styles, I also have Italic Pink as a style. So these styles are now available to use in this document, and if I don't change them, they will format text exactly uh, the way I want them to. Let's just a quick example of that. Create a, uh, choose the text tool, and let's put a text frame on this page, and then go to type, fill with placeholder text, which gives me several paragraphs, and then I select some paragraphs and click body text and it formats them with the body text style. Let's select the first line and format it with headings. 
let's select another line and format it as title. You see how that works? So these um, blocks of text will all be formatted uh, consistently across all the documents where I import these styles. As you create new styles, because you find that you didn't anticipate all of the uh, types of formatting you want to use in your project, you should add those styles to the master document so that you will uh, be able to import them into uh, the rest of the documents in your project. And as you um, do this and as you develop your documents, save them frequently as you add things to them. That would be File, Save As, and browse to the location where you want it, and give it a name, and go ahead and save it. That's all for today. Thank you for coming.